What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Five Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Cups to the side to everybody in between. Don't forget, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, the, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Pro 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up. No Venmo. Uh, just saying, just saying. All right, you guys. We're going to keep rolling. Okay, so I got a channel message in, so I'm going to deliver it. Um, I heard someone's about to be a millionaire soon through many series to chain events. Uh, very well deserved is what I heard. Someone's about to be a mil mil millionaire soon. A millionaire man? Uh I have goals. I have goals being a million, million, million. I can't speak. Eh. A millionaire, too. Absolutely. Um, for me and my kiddos, I have a huge goals. Hashtag goals. So, someone's about to be a millionaire for a mini series of chain of events. Um, congrats to whoever that's for. That is a beautiful freaking message. Um, just for real, for real. Um, I feel everyone should have goals and aspirations to do it, um, to, to do that uh, through the legal way. The legal freaking way, just saying, just saying. Not through theft and extortion and money laundering and abuse, like Secret 7 situation. Not through those kind of means. Um, not off the backs of other people. Your own self. But yeah, absolutely. Congrats to whoever that's for. Generations on the bottom of the deck, upright. This money is going to really be life-changing in a very positive way for you and your family. You have children. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Or this money is going to be life-changing for you and your family. You have children. So, whoever you are, it sounds like a large lump sum of money. Like a settlement, a payout, a, a back, pay, back pay or something of that nature. I mean, I didn't hear specifically what it was. I'm thinking like a settlement, a payout, back pay or something like that. Um, but some kind of large lump sum of money um, in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, it could be from a lawsuit or something of that nature. But... Um, it sounds, it sounds like you don't have it yet, but through many series of chain of events, you will have it. I heard it's going to be life-changing for you and your family, and you have children. So, for whoever you are, you have children. And I'm assuming two-plus children in the universe. Um, for some, I feel you could be poverty-stricken or could have been poverty-stricken. And um, something happened, and now, through many series of chain of events, you're going to um, become a millionaire in some shape, form, or fashion. So, in this situation, the generations, the money being used in a very positive way for you and your children, two plus children, if this resonates for you. So, generations upright, um, carrying on the family legacy in a very positive way for you and your two plus kids, if that resonates. Um, I feel these might be biological kids. I don't feel they're foster children or stepchildren or something like that. I feel it's biological children. I didn't hear that. You plug it in how it resonates. Very shocking, positive communication coming so coming soon. Okay, I heard very shocking, positive communication coming soon. So some kind of very shocking, positive communication coming soon. I think regarding this money or this settlement, or this payout, or something to do with some kind of large lump sum of money. Um, that has, I mean, how does that resonate? So it's that is beautiful, man. Holy crap. Spirit messages you have reflected. Try to take it upright. We have a passion, effortless, and promise. 
Uh, for some, you could be a fire sign or dealing with fire sign. If you are, you could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Moon, 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 Jupiter, or dealing with fire sign. Um, but fi uh, passion is the fire sign card in this deck. We have passion, effortless, and promise. Someone can see lots of positive passion in you. And they are right. Okay, I heard someone can see lots of positive passion in you, and they're right. So um, you have positive passion, desire, drive, motivation out in the universe. Someone can see this about you. So um, somehow you're about to be a millionaire. Um, you could become a millionaire in a million different aspects in life. So however, you're about to become a millionaire, but someone can see, um, for some, it could be celebrity energy or star, stardom energy or something like that. I'm not really feeling that for some of you guys. I feel it might be like you fought hard for this. <laughs> like you fought hard for it. Like, <laughs> but you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, um, someone can see whether it's like uh, clout energy or fame or stardom or whatever the hell, you know, whatever. Um, celebrity energy or industry energy or in industry energy or whatever. Um, or you have fought tooth and nail for some kind of rights, freedoms, liberties, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or just stood up for yourself, or you just, uh, maybe it's a inheritance or a trust fund baby energy or something like that. Um, you, um, somebody sees lots of positive desire, drive, and motivation in you. Um, and they see, they see, they see it in you. So that, I'm assuming that goes in a positive way way for you. So you plug it in how it resonates. Effortless. You put wonderful good vibrations out into the, into the universe. You're about to be rewarded substantially for this. Okay, I, I heard you put lots of good positive vibrations out into the universe and you're about to be rewarded substantially for this. So, congrats to whoever this is for. So, you put lots of desire, drive, passion, motivation out in the universe in a positive way. So, you know, you don't put your sexual energy out there. I don't I don't feel this is like Ace of Wands energy, masculine or femme. I don't feel you put your sexual energy out there in a, in a crazy way to, you know, manipulate people with sex to get what you want. You do it in a positive, passionate way, minus sexual, you know, Manipulating people with sex, basically. I don't feel this is prostitution energy is what I'm trying to say. I feel this is positive into the universe energy. Um, and you do it very effortlessly. You do it, um, you do it, I think, out, out of the passion in your heart. Desire, drive, and motivation in your heart. It's just who you are, whoever you are. It's really beautiful. This is really beautiful. You, it definitely is who you are. Many people are waking up to this now. Okay, I heard it definitely is who you are. Many people are waking up to this now. So you everly put your passion, desire, drive, motivation out to the universe in a positive way. I feel non-prostitution energy here, uh, whether you're masculine or femme, in a positive way. And many people see this. So you go with your bad self. Promise. Um, okay, I just want to say this real quick before we go on. I, I'm a fire sign. Anybody doesn't know, I'm a Leo sign. Um, I have many other placements of other signs um, that kind of bounce, that bounce me out, that are not fire sign energy. But I just want to say, and when I'm in a relationship, there's lots of passion there. Lots of passion, lots of desire, drive, and motivation in the sexual realm. But if you're not in a relationship, the way I look at it, of course, I'm not judging anybody, but I'm just saying for me, the way I look at it, if you're not in a relationship, there's no point to put your sexual energy out there like that because it's just going to bring you negative karma in the universe down the line. But if you are in a relationship and they want to commit to you and it's a solid, stable, grounded relationship, then yeah, um, Ace of Wands away. You know what I'm saying? But um, when you start putting your sexual energy out there to manipulate and get what you want, that's when the negative karma falls into play. That's when the passion gets abused if that in the sexual realm, if that makes sense. 
that's the way I look at it. Um, I've seen it. I've, I mean, it, it's happened to me in negative aspects. I've lived and I've learned. I've seen it happen to many, many other, many other people. Um, but that's why I don't do that. Is what I'm trying to say. That's why I don't do it because I don't want negative karma coming on me, and that's just the truth. You know, um, of course, everybody has their free will and choices to make, but I'm just saying. So promise. Beware, after you get this money, you're going to have many, 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 many people try to come back and commit to you. Use your best discernment. Okay, I heard, beware, when you get this money, you're going to basically have a ton of people try to come back. Sounds like past, like Six of Cups energy. Um, to try to come back and commit to you. I heard be wary, use your best discernment. So they're going to want to commit to you for the money for a lot of these people. Um, for one particular person, there will be one true person, one very true person. You have to use your best intuition. Test the waters with this person. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So whoever this is for, there's at least two of you guys in the universe. This is about to happen to, it sounds like. But for one, um, there's going to be one very, there's, it sounds like in both situations, a ton of folks are about to come back. They're about to come back. They're about to come back. They're about to come back because they want to commit to you a committed promise, commitment, like relationship commitment, because they want the money, honey, because they want the money, honey. Absolutely. Yeah. But for one of you guys, and you have to plug yourself in where you fit, only you know your story, not anybody else. But for one of you guys, there is going to be one true person. One true person, but I heard it, uh, it'd be smart to test the waters with this person. So test the waters with them. Basically, not manipulate them, but test them to make sure they're true. They're real and true before you start committing to them in a commitment, a promise type situation. So they, they're not in it just for the money. So you know they're not in it just for the money. You both know you're not in it just for the money. Um, because some people do try to come back when they realize you have a ton of money or you're in it or you, you're in the money or you're in your bag or whatever. Um, they want a piece of the pie. But for at least one of you guys, there's one person that truly, it sounds like, has wanted to be with you. They just haven't put it out there. Or maybe something has happened where they couldn't. But basically test the waters with this person is what I'm taking from this. Test the waters with them and make sure y'all are a good fit for each other before you commit to them. Because you will have the money. You will have the money. They want a piece of the pie, i.e. the money. So you have to be very discerning uh, with this person in love. You don't want to head over heels and then um, they're out in freaking three months with your 1.5 meal. Or your 3.8 mil or whatever. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices, my dear, and namaste.